Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. I'm, uh, I get I get a lot of questions. Uh, people want to know what's my favorite uh, camp setup with a tarp or my favorite tarp setup. And we do make tarps. We make thousands of them. And uh, I I like the open so much. I only use them when I have to. But so I thought, well, I'll set up a tarp setup. It's really my favorite way of doing it. I'm going to use my uh, olive yellow uh, poncho here, which is really bright. I'm going to use that as my hammock setup so for contrast. And I think I'll use a woodland uh, PSTL, the large 10 by 10 tarp. And I'm going to set it up over it as a shelter and show you what you can do. Well, I'm about uh, probably 18 feet apart here between trees. And uh, normally, if I'm about this distance, 15 to 20 feet away or something, well, getting closer to 20 feet away, I usually uh, I usually put my I usually string up about head high or so. That seems to work pretty good for me. So now I just clip my hammock in. I'll be ready. <coughs> I'm just using the 24 inch Dyneema slings and you see where it's sewn right here all those bar tacks it makes it pretty stiff so what I do is I just fold over and end like that and that becomes my stiff part that I shove down in the tube in the I think I showed this on a couple videos but Basically, I get that down in there. I put my little finger through there to hold it so it doesn't pull all the way in. And you see, I'm, I'm already a third of the way over. So all I do now is I just bunch up. So I'm just bunching up a bunch of stuff here. And then I pull on it. So there we are. So there's my... There's my two Dyneema ends. And all I do is make, I get this part right here. That's my center tab on my poncho. I just get that straight down. That way I know I'm on here even. All right, so I've got my two ends of my runner. Just put, that, put those through there. And I take my Dyneema, slide the little bead back. And I shove my Dyneema cord up through the middle of there. Now at this point you could use you could either use a, a carabiner which is really simple. If you want to go a little more lightweight you can either cut a stick up where you're camping or you can use this is one of our Easton aluminum tent pegs. This is a six inch one. So what I do there is I put shove it up through there and then I stretch my shock cord over the tip and you see that shock cord just kind of holds it on there all right I'm going to put my little spreader in here but I really like it when I'm using these Dyneema runners that little bit of spread right there makes a ton of difference in my comfort level sleeping in this thing I chose to use this uh, woodland tarp. This is a PSTL, 10 foot by 10 foot. It's our large um, tarp. All right. This cord's made up in a figure eight. Same way that we supply it when you get cord from us. And for this tarp setup, I want to be about five feet off the ground or so because my tarps 10 by 10 and the back side I want to let hang down and so I don't want to go too high but, oh did I walk on my tarp I didn't I didn't mean to walk on it because you really shouldn't walk over them you can damage them you know but we're in the snow <laughs> so the way we do it is just grab, it's kind of like, it's basically like the trucker's knot that I've showed some years ago. So I'm just going to go like this. 
and pinch together a little loop, okay? Then I'm just going to twist it once, twice, yeah, let's say three times, two or three times. Then I take this loop right here with my fingers and I straddle the main line here and I pull a loop up through that other loop, okay? You see that makes a little like a figure eight right there. So then I just slide that up there and tighten it. So I put my free end through here. There's my situation right there. So now as I pull on this, I tighten this. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, so I get a tension however much I want. I can pinch this right there. And because, partly because of the compounding effect of going through that pulley type deal, it's not that difficult for me to hold this thing. Now, all I got to do to hold it is I just throw an end up over here. And basically I'm just pulling a loop through right here. Okay, so now I have a basically a slippery half hitch on there. That right there will hold this thing. If I need to make an adjustment, I just jerk that out of there, tension a little bit more, do it again to tie it off. I'm good to go. All right, you see the point where I'm at here? Here's the end of my hammock right here. So I'm out about a foot past that. So I can, I can secure this end of the, of the tarp. And this is halfway, so it's five feet front and back. So I just shove this tie-out tab between that V that was made. And I just take a stick like this, or I could use uh, that marlin spike or whatever. But the stick right there will work fine. Now when that pulls back, when I tighten the other side, that's going to pull against there. And that will, that will uh, secure this end of it right here without having to tie anything else off. It just made me... Uh, I didn't bring my bin that had my prusik loops in it. <laughs> so I just made me one out of scrap piece of uh, 550 cord. And I just tied an overhand knot in it. I'm not going to, if I had a, if I was going to have a really lot of tension, I'd make it up with the stopper knots like we do on our, on the prusik loops that we sell. But here it's not that much. So you throw this thing over, you bring your, not end up through here twice and it's important how you dress this out because you want to come out of the middle and then you want it to extend on out and i could go i could more i could go more times than that if i want to it gives it more holding power but you have to tension it up pretty good at first and once you get it you can pull on that all you want, it won't move. So I'm going to put the end of this prusik up through the loop on this tarp. Then I'm going to shove a stick through here, like a marlin spike. Now I pull on my prusik. I can put a pretty darn good bit of tension on there, and that won't slide. And it's adjustable. So I'm going to do so that I can, I don't need to nail this thing down tight. So I can put that through there and leave the stretchiness there. That's what I want to do. So it's more, more adjustable. I can do a little more with it. You know, I've got some stretch in here, which actually helps the tent stake stay in better. And it also keeps me tension on my tarp uh, by having the shock cord is much better than trying to anchor it down with some solid cord. There's three ways I can use this tent stake. So I could nail, I could nail down just like that. And that would be fine because I'm on a ridge line, which is flexible. That other tent stake over there is shock corded, so it's flexible. So I can do just like that and it would be just fine. 
but I want to get a little more distance because I'm trying to pull this back away from my hammock a little bit. So another way I can do this is I can go through here and then I can put the stake through the loop like I did on the other side and pull it out like that. Okay, so that's that's basically one level of shock cording. Now I can double that. So instead of instead of letting that pass all the way over the tent stake like I did, I let it hook in that hook right there. So now I have four I have four uh, strands of shock cord instead of two. So now I have twice the I have twice the uh, the tension. So I can just do that if I want to, but like I say, I'm gonna, I want to get out here a little bit so I can give myself a lot more, a lot more flexibility in this thing. So let me go out and find a stick here. Uh, I think I'm gonna just do one shoulder high right now to start with. Yeah, that will work. I can cut it off about right here. Oh, there's a better one over there. All right, let's see what we can do here. I think I'll go, I don't know. I'll go up here just a little bit. And probably right about here. Well, it's a little higher. I might like it maybe a little higher like that. I think I'll do this right here. All right, so here's my loop. Now, the end of my pole's a little bit, it's a little bit too big to go through that loop. So, I need to trim this down a little bit. I'm sure you've seen how I do that. I'm sure you've seen that. Just score a little line all the way around. Doesn't have to be very deep. Now, this wood here is dry enough and all, and usually I use my knife or something, my Mora knife, for flaking that off of there, but I about went too deep. Look at that. Well, it'll work. Don't need much. Anyway, so there we go. I just put that over the top of that peg tip on there. I'll pull this thing down with a parachute cord, tension it down, and now I'm in pretty good shape here. So when you get a tarp from us, you get three shock cord pieces like this. This is the longest one. There's one a little shorter and then one a little shorter than that. So they're 30. 32, 24, and 18 inches. This is 32. It's got a cord lock on it. it. Slides up and down so I can adjust the tension. And this is exactly the reason that we have these. I can shove a loop through here. Okay, so I got the loop here. I got the cord lock down here. So I pass the cord lock in through the loop pull that up okay now you see right here on this tree is a little stub of a branch well I can take this cord lock I can run that up there now and tie it off to the tree the tree will give a little bit this will give a little bit so I'm so I'm secure without being anchored solidly all right so these tent stakes come with the little uh, uh, nine inch, nine inch uh, loop of shock cord through the eye there. Well, you can pull that out, and you can take one of the three uh, longer shock cords that comes with the tarp, and you can just fold that over to an eye, shove that through the little hole here. So now I have a long loop uh, that I can use, and I really want to use it here. Going through my loop. Tension that down. Now, now you see I can come down to the ground and I can be under tension here. 
So there's the one of the uses for these little stubs on here. Hang up whatever you want on it. All right, so here I am in my shelter. Or the snow on me, or rain, or whatever, and I'm pretty well, pretty well protected in here. If I need to, of course, I can bring these corners down. I can bring that center stick down a little more to give myself more drainage or whatever. But, but you see, I've got a slope everywhere. You know, I've got a, I've got kind of like a hip roof going out this way, an A-frame. My back wall going down here. And these, because they're going down like that, gives a slope for drainage that way. So I have good drainage and everything, which is one of the reasons I like this. I got really nice protection, and it's really easy to adjust it to button myself in a little tighter. I can do in just a few minutes, really. I've got a lot of space in here. I could have, if I had a little camp chair or a folding chair that I brought with me, I could set, set that in here easily. I've, I've dragged a stump over before and put my gas stove on there and cooked in the rain or something and be out of all that. So I'm, you know, I'm really comfortable in here. It's really nice. And like I say, plenty of space to be in out of the elements. To me, this is just one of the most effective ways to use, uh, especially our PSTL tarp. So it's pretty cozy. Pretty nice out here. And this is what I like, because I can see out. I love to be able to be in my hammock, whether I'm laying down or sitting in here or whatever. I just like to be able to see out and see the world I'm in, man. I like to be in the outdoors. I like to be able to see it. That's what I love about tarps. And uh, that's what I absolutely love about this setup. It gives me protection with a view. And here we are up inside. Nice and roomy. Look how much floor space I got in there. But I mean, look at this. See how nice this is? I'm not touching, I'm not touching this uh, tarp anywhere. If I wanted to, I didn't put any stake in the middle here. I could put a stake down there at the middle and pull this out. See a little bit more. This shelter, I've had it in some pretty, I've had it in some pretty good winds before, and. Uh, you know, it does really nice around. I mean, this thing will stay up really nice in a good wind.